In this video we're going to talk about solids in Rhino and also how we can edit them with different tools. So we use first of all curves and then we checked all the, well not every single one but the curve tools to edit the tools. Then we moved to the surfaces and we saw that we can modify surfaces and create surfaces and also modify and create them with curve tools. And now we are to the solid tool. So we are following here kind of a path. And then we're going to see later also other type of solids and other surfaces like the sub D and the meshes. So let's go here with the solid. You can see I have created some already. And also there are tools that can help you to create holes. And also if you want to create like screw uh, holes and also you can multiply them. So let's get started with the basics. So here we in the left toolbar we can start to create some essential primitives like the box. We already create some of those previously so I'm going to go pretty fast here and this is the this is a solid, it's a closed extrusion, but if I explode this, here we have again the simple uh, surfaces. So we, every time we create a solid, that can become any time a surface or can become a mesh and uh, all the way around. So we can go back and forth here in Rhino and use different tools. Now you have different methods of creation here. For example, you can create a bounding box. So if you select an object, for example, let me get this one here, which is pretty complex, and save enter, and enter again. This is going to create a bounding box around the object. So it can be uh, helpful if you want to create maybe a case, something like that. Okay, and we have spheres. We have all different types of spheres. We have spheres from tangent to curve and a round curve, we already saw something similar when we created the curves, so you probably remember. Sphere from four points, so it's kind of creating circles again. So you, you define the points that you need and it's gonna create a sphere using those points. And we have this one here, it's the ellipsoid. This one here actually is an ellipsoid. And again, you have different ways to create that. But I think that at this point in the course, you won't have any problem creating these different uh, solids. So we already see some pyramids before or cones. Let me see something that we didn't uh, use before. For example, the tube. It's pretty interesting. Here, for example, I, I've created one tube. And I'm kind to try to create a, um, a ring again for like jewelry design I can you can see that when I create a, a tube it's gonna ask me for two different circles so it's kind of offsetting the the circle and now we can use the fillet we already know the fillet from the surface fillet and from the curve fillet and this is actually the same but we are going to use it on a solid and be careful this one is edit and this one is creating the fillet so here I can define a radius I can define a show radius if I want so let's just select this and this is gonna show me here the and let's hit pre preview yes it's gonna show me the radius so it's pretty um, well be careful not to uh, have the radius bigger than the distance here otherwise it won't go so press enter and you can see here that we have barely enough space but that's okay as long as we have also that little space it's gonna work and you can see i've created some sort of a ring now i can go here and edit those fillet edges so i will click here and it's gonna bring me back and maybe i can change my mind i can say set all and say okay no not one I will go for 0 0.5 I want less fillet and press again and press again and there you go we have another totally different effect now always check this with 
let's say render it or something that's going to show you the actual curvature or we saw for example in the surface tool that we can enable the curvature mode which is going to show you how the, this is going to behave in a reflective with a reflective material with an environment okay and let's go back here to solids and let's move on so another interesting one is the two is the pipe so it's kind of well also the torus can be used for a ring or something like that jewelry in general and also the pipe it's pretty interesting so you have the flat caps and the round caps let's create a round cap now you you need to have a rail now anything could become a rail we know this because we did in the previous video we did something with the uh, extraction here tools so for example if I create extract isocurve from here I can use this curve to create a tubular object or any other curve so let's select that let's go back to the solid tools and I will use this and you can see I can define the diameter now this is the the start and the end radius or I can change the diameter I can also set more than one if I want now I, let's stay with two you can make it many and then press enter and that's it that's your um, pipe with the radius that's gonna change and that's your rounded cap now if you don't want a rounded cap let's select this other line here and let's make another example there you go so if you want the same uh, radius just type the radius type 2 and type 2 again and, and press enter and that's gonna be a perfect pipe without any changing of the radius okay let's proceed here and let's get to the well we already know of course extrusion but here we have some more tools that can be really interesting so well we already know all of these we, this is just extruding in different fashion this one here is lab from polyline so I need a polyline and it's gonna create kind of a wall some something with a thickness basically okay so this is a polyline and this is our kind of wall so it's pretty simple and again it's kind of a, with a pipe but in this case it's uh, it's not rounded it's uh, straight and also we have boss and rib which are really interesting and I've used those to create kind of a uh, smartphone here um, so let me 